And so, hello, 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 booktubing world. It's I, Capri Nicole, and I'm back with another video. So today, I am reorganizing this disaster I have going on back here. It's a mess, okay? Between all the book tags, the book hauls, the tearing apart of my shelves, I have accumulated a mess over here, and I just did an unhaul, so now I officially have all the books out of my shelves that I do not feel like I'm going to finish, or don't want, or they need to just go. So I have unhauled all the books that I'm getting rid of, I have consolidated all of my books, and they are all here. I have, some of them are in this crate here, I also have a laundry basket of books, so... I'm gonna put all these on the shelves, I'm gonna organize these, and then I'm gonna decorate. So, last night, your girl went to Dollar Tree because I'm about that saving my money, and I'm not about to be spending a whole bunch of money on something I don't need to spend on. So, I went to Dollar Tree, I got a ton of like little decoration things, and I'm gonna decorate my shelves a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but... Um, yeah, so I have things to decorate, I'm gonna organize this. I don't really feel the whole rainbow organizing thing. I think it just gets messy and you don't know where any of your books are. It's like, for me personally, I couldn't do it. It's, it looks pretty, but it's like when you go to find something, you can't find it. So for me, I'm gonna separate it by series and by genres. So like all the fantasy will be together, all the urban will be together, all the contemporary will be together, magical realism will be together. So like everything within that area will be similar. To the best of my ability, because I know some of the magic books are going to be hardcover, and some are going to be softcover, some are going to be big, some are going to be small. So I'm going to try to keep everything together as best as I can. It's more about me being able to find my books versus how it looks. So yeah, this video is just going to be pretty much a big montage of me organizing and then the end result. So I'm hoping it doesn't take me too, too long, but... <sighs> I'm ready so uh, first thing I'm gonna do is take all of these books off of the shelf then I'm gonna go head on over to the bed organize them into stacks and then we're gonna go from there and then we're gonna bring in the Christmassy decor so here's everything that I grabbed from Dollar Tree last night I have this little tree that lights up it's super cute I got this little Santa Claus I got some fake flowers I'm a, like my theme is kind of be like you know white gold red so I kind of rolled with that as a theme and then I got this little tissel and I got these two this tin and this tin so yeah I'm gonna try to organize my books and then I'm gonna decorate it with all of these lovely things so let's get into it <laughs>
so I kind of have everything organized. Well, pretty much this is how I'm going to do it. So I have the series here, or like similar authors. So the Grisha series, and then I have um, Marissa Mayer series. And then I also, in the mix of it, I have like all the retellings and I put everything in alphabetical order. So I have Marissa Meyer and then I have um, retellings in the same stack. And then I have um, the Hunger Games series. And then I have Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Court of Thorn and Roses. Um, e. I have um, Shannon McGuire's series, but I'm just missing one book. Then I have Throne of Glass over there leaning. And then I have... Um, these series here, which are more like erotica books, and I have these in alphabetical order too, and then I have graphic novels here, and then I have like brown girl magic-esque vibes, so I have like, whether the main character is black or the author is black, I have it all here, and this is also in alphabetical order, and then here I have um, like magic, magical like fantasy fantasy-esque vibes these are also then this is just, these two together are one stack but they're in alphabetical order and then i have journals here rick riordan books and then i have like comic type funny books and then this is the only stack i have no idea what to do these little four books so that's pretty good then i have business books here and then i have love books here which are also in alphabetical order then i have poem books here and then I have like self-motivation books here or books that are like self-help type books. And then I have box sets. So I have Harry Potter and then I have The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And then I have Game of Thrones here. And then I have um, books that are like family related, like kind of like give me family vibes. Also in alphabetical Orta. And then I have... <laughs> Everything is in the shelves. Bottom shelf, the first two are cookbooks, and then I have children's books, and then I have journals right here. And then these are just books that did not fit any of the organization that I was trying to follow. And then over here, I have like books that are like family related or like have to do with families. And then here I have graphic novels, and then here I have like comic type books right here. And then up here, we have the Throne of Glass series, all of the books. And then we have Harry Potter box set. And then I have two of the Grisha trilogy books. I'm missing one, so this is going to end up having to get moved later. And then I have the Game of Thrones um, box set. I have um, the Three Dark Crowns. I'm missing a couple books here, but these are the first two. So the prequel and then the first book. And then I have um, Shannon McGuire's books. I'm missing one for this one. And then the next one comes out next year. And then here I have um, Court of Thorn and Roses. And, you know, all of Sarah Jane Mass's books just right here chilling. And then I have, like, Rick Ryder and books here. I'm still iffy about his books, so we go give him a fighting chance. Because I've only read one, and it was the Percy Jackson series, and I wasn't like, a big fan of the first one. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And then I have The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe box set right here. 
and then I have poem books, which is only two, and then I have books that are for like self-help, self-healing, and self-motivation type books. And then up here, I have the Daughter Smoke and Bone series, and then I have the spinoff, which is from for two of the characters when they fall in love is so precious. And then I have all of the magical and fantasy type book. Oh, no. And then I have Marissa Mayer books. And then right after that, I have all the retellings right here in alphabetical order. Moving on. And then I have magical and fantasy type books in alphabetical order from here all the way over. And then up here, I have, um, let's see. I have all of these are love books. So from this book on over are all love books, alphabetical order, starting from here over. And then I have business books, which is are these three right here. Um, I'm actually missing a book, I just realized. So I have business books right here. And then I have the Hunger Games series here. And I have Black Girl Magic books here in alphabetical order. And then I have like erotica type books, you know, in the corner. <laughs> you know, when I was organizing all this stuff, I felt like I had a lot of books. But... Now that I look at it, I still have a lot of space. I definitely still have space on the bottom shelf. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, so I definitely still have space on the bottom shelf. I have space on the middle shelf, and I have space on the top shelf. So, as of right now, this is what it's looking like, and then I just have to decorate it. Yeah.